Welcome in everybody, welcome to the live stream. How we doing? We should be live, pretty sure. I'm going to equip a black rocket radar. Do I want to equip black rocket radar? She no, I don't. I think it's too late though. Yeah, it is. Okay, Giovanni. Okay, I don't want to battle Giovanni yet, so we're going to remove that. Welcome. Can everybody see me, hear me? Are we live? We should be live. This event, has this event started? It has. I do not know the CP for the Hundo Shadow Groudon. We're good, we're live. Welcome in everybody. Today we're doing a shiny shadow hunt. Also gonna be catching our Shadow Groudon. We have the new Team Go Rocket Takeover event going down. We're going to start by putting on Daily Adventure Incense. We'll put on a Star Piece, why not? Put on a Lucky Egg. Put on another Lucky Egg. Put on a third Lucky Egg. Also, you know what? Let's uh, let's use spatial rend. Why not? For an hour, and we're gonna get to it. The Hundo CP for Shadow Groudon. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is. Is it caught at level twenty? Greetings from Romania. What's up from Romania? How many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, I have plenty. And storage space? Okay, sick. We're rolling. Sorry, I just gotta like, I haven't opened the game in a bit, so I just gotta like, check all this stuff. Make sure all my notifications are cooked. I don't know I have a battle notification, but I do. Mega Evolve, a Sableye. For more candies, we'll get to it. Catch you in New York. Yes, we will see you in New York. We will see you in New York. I'm excited for New York. Well, I don't know. New York, I'm not the biggest fan of New York as a city. But for Pokemon Go, it's kind of cool. Okay, sick. So yeah, today we're going to be um, playing the Team Rocket Takeover event, which means there are new shiny shadows to hunt, plenty of new fun stuff to hunt. Also, we're going to be catching our Shadow Groudon, at least one of my Shadow Groudons. I think I'm going to save three radars for Rayquaza just because I'm gangster like that. Um, but we have to do this, it's a wor rocket world. Purify three sh two shadows, defeat grunts. Um, so we're gonna work on that today. Try to finish that up if we can. Oh, I guess there's this as well to work on. Um, and yeah, it should be a fun day. So, welcome in. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let's get to it. The Hundo Groudon is 1528, there you go. That's the Hundo Groudon. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna battle Giovanni yet. Volibi in the wild is actually so cool. I'm not gonna battle Giovanni yet. I wanna wait until we get um, a little bit further in the research, because I don't wanna end up with a stacked research. So I'd rather just keep the radars I have right now and then just completely finish the new research. So then I use that radar and then I still end up with three radars, but no, no research at page one. It just makes more sense. Can I turn off adaptive brightness? No, I'll just leave it. Leave as is. Also, I do hear that the Team Rocket Pants are fire. Yeah, we got the Team Rocket Pants on today. Gotta, gotta represent the fit, you know? I also hear that Shadow Totodile is back, which is super hype for anyone who needs a Shadow for Alligator for the Great League or the Ultra League. Maybe we'll find one today. Probably will, they're probably pretty common. So that would be great. Can you turn off rocket radars? Yes, you can. You can unequip them in your item bag. What are you looking for? You go soon too. Uh, today, I really want the shiny shadow trap inch. Out of all the new shiny shadows, I would love the trap inch. I think it would be a great catch. Um, the what's the other one too? The the cacne or cacnea, cacnea, however you say it, because everybody everybody thinks I say it wrong, which I probably do, but whatever. 
cacnea um, would be a cool grab as well. It's a good time in India to watch your stream. Yeah, we're doing an early morning stream. I will say, all I'm going to say is like a lot of people are always like, why don't you stream this, that? I feel like my stream times are really spread out. I will say though, I don't stream as late anymore. Like that's not something I do as much anymore. Like I don't stream, I don't like to stream late, right? Like, and who likes to work late? Like I like to go, you know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. hits. I'm done for the day. I'm watching TV or something like that, you know? That's the vibe I go for. Love the content. Thank you, Trigger. Get ready to be shocked. I am ready to be shocked. Shock me, bro. Oh, incoming, incoming fire truck. Just kidding, I think it's gone. Love your content, thank you. How many shadow groudons are you gonna get? I don't know, I think I'm only gonna get one. I think I'm gonna get one and then I'm going to, oh God, mute, mute yourself now, chat. Mute the stream now. Mute the stream before it's too late. It's actually not that loud. It's actually not that loud. I thought it was gonna be louder. Good morning, Jennifer. How do I feel about the new Avatar update? Oh, you're gonna see. I have a video talking about it. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's great. Oh my god, it sounds like a screaming child. <laughs> Stuff from India. Hello, you're from India. What's up, bro? Got a purified gem. Purify two shadows? Sure. But that's actually really good. I don't want to purify that. I'll purify that. Good morning, what's up, Cleavers? Good morning, Mystery. Thought there was an airstrike. No, 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 it's not an airstrike. It's our fire our fire trucks here sound like airstrikes though, I will say. Okay. Don't do what I do, but I'm just gonna cross the street now because there's no one. The grind calls. The grind calls me, chat, I hear it. And I must respond. Look, I got a Nundo Shadow Turtwig, chat. Isn't that crazy? I got this, like, recently. A Nundo Shadow Turtwig. Okay, so there's a rocket there. We're gonna head into a spot where there's just a lot more rockets and rocket stops. Um, because we definitely want more of that, so. Chances of getting a Shadow Groudon? There's no chances. It's guaranteed. It's a guaranteed chance. Okay, this will get us past page one. Hopefully we can find some leaders soon, because I would love to try to get some of these new shiny shadows. A grass, why is grass everywhere today? How do you want to revise some potions? Uh, Battle in gyms, and spin gyms. Is my game frozen? I think my game just froze. How does my game freeze? Also, I hope this stream doesn't crash today, because that would suck. Because the last two streams I've done have crashed like around the 15 minute mark. And I have no idea why really. What's up Russell? What's up Lou? Good morning. Kuto. Welcome in everybody. Pokemon Go just go down? Or am I tripping? Am I tripping chat? Expect the stream to crash in 15 minutes, pretty much. Why is my game not opening? Does, do you guys get this? Bro, I have 5G full bars, open. A petition to remove the stash. What do you mean, the stash looks nice. Look at this, look at it in the light. Look at it in the light. Look how full and luscious that looks. Thank you, Dominic. What's up, Anthony? Dude, I can't even open the Pokemon Go app right now. Check out this thing, this is pretty cool. You get this often? Oh, squirrels. It's a uh, squovit. Okay, thank God we're back in. I will not remove the stash. 
This is what I'm gonna say about the stash, is everybody wants me to remove it, but if you listen to other people in life, that's not gonna get you anywhere. So I'm not gonna listen to other people. I'm kidding, it's important to, to take feedback, but in terms of the stash, I think it's, uh, it's my stash era. Let me live my stash era, chat. Be a stash man. Now I just need a goatee. Ah, no, I probably wouldn't do the goatee. The goatee's crazy. Lord, this hotel is called Lord Elgin. Lord Elgin, dude. Am I going to New York City? Yes, I will be in New York. With Pokemama as well. We're only going to be there for the weekend, though. So we're going to be there... Uh, we're going to be there literally Thursday to Monday. Because I really don't like New York. And I think it's going to be busy and not that enjoyable. So we're only going for like literally four days. Just the event and then we're out of there. And then I'm back home. British era hotel. Oh my God, look at that glitch. It showed me the... Next home collab with Home Slice needs to be called the Stash Duo. Do I have a better stash than Home Slice? Let me know in chat. Is it better than Home Slice's stash? The balloons are every two hours. I thought it was every three hours because it's always been like that, but it seems like they recently changed it. So now the balloons are every three. Okay, it's a rocket world. Page one done. Closer to getting our radar. What do you got, Willow? Cast 20 Pokemon, purify five, and defeat more grunts. Okay. No problem. Going to Madrid. I will not be in Madrid. Right now, as as is right now, I won't be in Madrid. What type of grunt is this? Iron Will. Fighting, fighting. And fire. Do stops have old leaders? No. Uh, leaders should be updated because this event started at midnight, which is great. So, leaders should be updated. Austin Matthews stash? Who's Austin Matthews? Is it worth to wait for Black Records for Shadow Groudon or wait? Um, I would definitely grab it. Shadow Groudon is going to be number one ground type rate attacker, good in the Master League. Like, it's a great shadow compared to some of the other things. But I have seen some people like... Like me, for example, I'm personally going to save one or, or three radars. Like, I have four radars right now. I'm going to use one on Groudon, and then I'm going to save um, the rest for Rayquaza. But that's because I want to make a video where I catch three Shadow Rayquazas. So... Or, or four shower quizzes actually. Um, so I want to make that video, and that's probably why. But like for the average player, I would grab like two Shadow Groudons, two Rayquazas, two Kyogres. That's what I would have recommended doing. Two of each is good. Good morning, Ace. What do you got? What was this? A water grunt? Oh, this is a water grunt. Ooh, okay, this could be the Shadow Totodile, which we haven't seen in a while. Yes, if you didn't hear, Shadow Totodile is back. Ah, just kidding. I will not be at EUIC, no. I There's certain, like, events that happen in Pokemon that are just not worth enough for me to fly all the way out. Like, I'm not going to fly to London for EUIC. Maybe one year I will, but I'm just not really into PvP that much right now. And I have other things going on. Like, my life is changing, so... Shadow Ray would be so bad. Sorry, a glass can. No, Shadow Ray is going to be number one Dragon type Ray attacker forever. It actually might be the highest damage. I think it might almost overtake Mewtwo with the highest damage per second as a Raid attacker. Or just Pokemon in. in because right now, Shadow Mewtwo, I believe, is the highest DPS Pokemon. It might be a Mega. Actually, it might be like Mega Gengar or something. But Shadow Rayquaza is probably going to overtake it. In terms of non-Mega Pokemon, Shadow Ray is going to be the number one damage per second. Which means, similar to Mega Rayquaza, Shadow Rayquaza will probably be a top counter for, like, like Pokemon it's not even super effective on. <laughs> That's how good it's going to be. Zoe, yeah, Zoe is commenting at you, I see. I saw that, Ian. That looks really cool, and I'm excited for Zoe. 
to have that opportunity. Ooh, look, the new Shadow Darumaka chat. So this is a new Shadow, um, the Darumaka here, which is cool. And this is actually number, I think it's number one in terms of damage per second, number two overall behind Reshiram with Fusion Flare, but it's a very good fire type rate attacker, the Shadow Darumaka, so definitely worth a grab. Fair enough, Parth. But sometimes I think Pokemon have such high DPS that it's not even worth it to look at it that, that way because, like, at the end of the day, the faster you take down a raid boss, the more potions you save because the less time spent, if that makes sense. Shadow Darmantan will be meta for raids, yes, but not for PvP. Unless you want to go crazy. Shadow Ray should be able to learn Dragon Ascent. You'll just have to use a Meteorite on it. I don't see why they wouldn't allow it. Maybe, maybe it'll be locked. That would be interesting. I don't think Groudon can run while catching unless you throw all your Pokeballs at the floor. But I've heard people like losing their Shadow Groudons or, or their Shadow Kyogres or whatever. And then telling Niantic and Niantic are like, here you go. Yeah, 15 attack is cool, but... Okay, I need three more grunts. We're going to do a Cliff. Do we do Cliff? No, let's do the Arlo. Because I already have a Shadow Shiny with Chops. Let's do the new Arlo. What do I want to use against Arlo? I guess we can use Lando. Does the event give you super rocket radars? Um, if you battle grunts. Or no, yeah, you do get one from the It's a Rocket World research. Damn, yeah, I might look crazy right now looking in the mirror. Can you get a shiny shadow from grunts? Yes, you can, but I believe the odds are higher. I've heard that the odds are more like 1 in 125 or 1 in 500 from grunts. So, odds are not as great. Arlo finally gets a useless shadow, yeah. I kind of want the shiny shadow, though. I think the number one goal today is going to be the shiny shadow trap pinch. But um, if we can't get that, then I'll gladly take like a... I'm, I'll gladly take like a Machop or something. So what do you do after it runs away? If you lose your shadow Groudon, I think you can... Like... I don't think you can get it back. If you like miss all your Pokeballs and don't catch it, I don't think you can get your shadow Groudon back. But if it's like your game glitches and you lose it, you can send a message to Niantic support and they'll be able to help you. You can send a message in-game through the in-game app. At the magical 15 minute mark and it's still rolling, again chat, if the screen goes black, just randomly, um, I have no idea why and it's really annoying, so just be patient. <laughs> I'll probably have to, re if the stream goes black, expect me to end the stream and start a new one, okay? So keep your eye out on a new potential stream. But, uh, you know, let's not put that bad energy in the air. The stream's not gonna go black. It's gonna be good. I just need to KO this thing, man. Arlo's so annoying. Yo! Dio ahead, how you doing, bro? Long time no see, hope you're doing well. You're gonna battle Zionic again? Yes, I actually have a video of me battling Zionic um, that is ready to go out. It's edited thumbnail, but I just don't have the place to put it out right now because there's just so much happening. It's actually insane how much content there is in Pokemon Go at all times. We're on Spark Street, by the way, for anyone wondering. Pray to the cell phone gods, exactly. How to delete Cliff. Um, I have the counter guides for Cliff, Arlo, Sierra, and Giovanni coming out. I believe two of them are out already. Arlo and Sierra. Cliff comes out in an hour. Giovanni comes out at noon. No, no shiny shadow. Quick question, fastest way to get XP when trying to get the last two thirds? I would say X and throws, JC. X and throws at the end of the day are literally the number one w way to get XP. So yeah, just literally throw on, um, go out, go grind, and just try to hit X and throws. That's like your number one way. Hey, you got the shiny shadow, uh, Demi? Nice. Congrats, bro, kind of jealous. Check out my cute Pokemon. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll kill your cute Pokemon. Guys, is Shadow Ground even worth it? Yes. Shadow Ground 100% worth it. Even if you have Primal Ground, it's worth getting Shadow Ground on because Primal Ground on, you can only have one of. And when Primal Ground on dies, what happens? Shadow Ground on time. What's the best counters for Mewtwo? Um, I have a video coming out tomorrow about that. 
Don't worry, chat. All the questions you guys have about this event, I will have a video about it. The only thing I might not make a video about is the new Grunt lineups, just because I don't know if I have time this week, but I'll try. Um, but you can check out Leak Duck. Leak Duck, if you search up Leak Duck Team Rocket, there's a website and it has literally every single shadow you could potentially get from Grunts right now. So check that out. When will I battle Mystic 7? It was supposed to happen. I messaged him, but we haven't really scheduled it. And I don't really want to bother him too much because I know he's really busy. So I'll see if I can slide back in the DMs maybe in April. When, uh, or not in April. Yeah, I guess in April this month. When things are a bit more chill-axed. How many do I have to go? Okay, two more grunts. No problem. Hello, Mr. Dax. What's up, Marco? Mewtwo is this weekend, yes. Yeah, Shadow Mewtwo starts, I believe it's 6 a.m. on Saturday. I'm pretty sure... Oh, look, the new Shadow Pidgey. I'm pretty sure it's 6 a.m. Don't quote me. It could be 10 a.m., but I, I'm pretty sure it's 6 a.m. Ugh. Yeah, and his vlogs he taught exactly. Like, Mystic 7 is, like, I thought I worked hard. <laughs> I thought I worked hard until I saw Mystic 7's schedule and how he works. Like, guy gets up at 4 a.m., works till, like, 8 p.m. You know, personally, I believe right now in my life I need a little bit of work-life balance. I'll get up at, like, 6 a.m., go to the gym, blah, 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 working by, like, 8 or 9, work from, like, 9 to five six ish it, it really depends because i go stream and sometimes there's different days and i gotta work later so like i'll say i work like eight to ten hours every single day and that's every single day like saturday and sunday included um but this guy like works like it's actually insane gotta show respect people are gonna hate on everybody but at the end of the day there is one thing you can respect and that's work ethic because he works hard Bro, how I don't need all these purified gems, bro. I guess I need them. By the way, for Shadow Mewtwo raids this weekend, I got invited, me and my mom got invited on a school bus. <laughs> Apparently, oh, check out this building, that's kinda cool. Apparently someone rented a school bus in Ottawa to drive around and do Shadow Mewtwo raids. So we're gonna be streaming on the school bus, so don't miss that, that's gonna be really cool. <laughs> I haven't been on a school bus in many, many years. <laughs> Hundo Pidgey is 252, okay. The mods work hard as well. Yes, Jennifer. Huge shout out to Jennifer. Is there any other mods in here? I think it's just Jennifer. Dude, I think Jennifer, you've been to almost every single stream I've ever done. Is that accurate? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be on a school bus. I don't know how well it's gonna go, because like, where do you park a school bus to do raids, right? But we'll see. Come tune into that stream, guys. The stream is on the stream schedule. Um, Shadow Mewtwo Raids, we're gonna raid them for about like two hours or until the school bus is done kind of thing. Oh, Haybone was here earlier, okay. Hopefully Haybone's doing all right. 20 years since you've been on a school bus, Ace, yeah. I haven't been since like probably, I think it was probably, did I go on a school bus in high school? I don't even think they did school buses in high school. Since middle school, really. The school bus trauma, 100%, dude. Not my favorite place to be. Okay, hold up, chat. We need to purify Shadow Pokemon right now. So let's just purify five of these, and then we'll get on to the next page, which I believe should be defeat the leaders. So we're actually getting close, man. These Team Rocket researchers are actually not that hard. What is the quest this season where I can get the Super Rocket Raider? It's uh, called. It's this one right here. Um, it's called. Uh, it's a Rocket World. It's a rocket world we live in. Ooh, that's a really good Pidgey. I'm not gonna purify that. I'll purify you. I would not want to drive that bus. Are you gonna be okay on the bus, Mama? With somebody else driving? Since I was 18, then you started driving yourself. Yeah, I guess that was the last time I went on a school bus. Since I was 18, eh? Hated the bus, it was always too loud. Yeah, the bus was not really that fun. Well, I don't know, it was fun. Sometimes it was fun, sometimes it was traumatic. Should I save my Spare Rocket Raider for Shadow Rayquaza or use it on Shadow Groudon? I would save it for Ray. I don't know, that's kind of a hard question to answer, to be honest, because they're both good. So it's like more like, what do you need, actually? I think it's more like, 
Do you need more ground type attackers or do you need more um, flying attackers? Like, right? Like, that's kind of the question. Oh, this is such a good Shadow Empoleon. I can purify you. I might need to find another Shadow Pokemon because I don't really know if I want to purify any more of these. Tips on how to get parents to play Pogo. There's not really a tip because at the end of the day, you can't really force. The best thing I think you could do is like show them the game and be like, this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. This is fun. Take them out with you maybe once or twice. And then if they get into it, then you play with them. But at the end of the day, like in life, you could never really force someone to do something you want. Like you always want genuine connections and genuine people in your life. You don't want people that are being forced into things they don't want to do. So that's what I would say. 12, 15, 12 Shadow Ramp Hardos is great, dude. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate that. Okay, we've got about the leaders now, chat. Okay, we've got an Arlo here. Okay, Arlo there. There's a guy a little bit more forward, and then there's like, we're gonna have to walk a couple blocks. So let's do this Arlo, we'll do this one, and then we'll go down. Saving mine for Shadow Zekrom. You might be waiting a while, bro. You might be waiting a while. What is this, the bar and eatery? Everybody's going to lunch right now? Oh, I'm not even paying attention. I should have actually brought in Palkia. Most recent shiny I got was a traded shiny Riolu. Uh oh. Run. Your dad and mom play nice. My mom plays. I play more than my kids, yeah. At the end of the day, like, again, it's a video game. You should never force anyone to play a video game. I think it's fine to be like, hey, to your best friend or whatever, or your mom, your dad, whatever, and be like, hey, check out this game. I think it could be fun if we play together. Go out with them, play it. Because most people will always give something a shot. Like, you know, I've, like, my friends sometimes will be like, yo, check out this game. We'll go, we'll play it once. And then if we enjoy it, we'll play it more. But at the end of the day, I don't think you should, like, you can't force people to play the game, so show them. It's like, what is it? You can only lead a water, lead a horse to the water hole and then the whole, the horse needs to drink the water. Isn't that the saying? It's something like that. You can, you lead a horse to the water and then the, only the horse can drink it. Welcome back to Pogo, Kalka. How was uh, your break? Man, I love Landris. That's the quote, right, chat? That's accurate? Do I play any other games? Um, right now, not really. I'm not really in a video game mode right now. Obviously, like, every once in a while, I'll play, like, Fortnite with my friends or different stuff like that, but, yeah, really not that often. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. There you go, David's got us. David's got us on check. Actually, like, 18 people. Aiden, Aiden, Ian... Jennifer, or sorry, always up for rating. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Shh, uh, I need to go this way. I'm working on our channel, hopefully it gets better. Hey, it's a long grind, bro. I remember when I first started my channel, I was like, kind of just doing it for fun, but also like I was kind of a bit demotivated because it wasn't doing that great. But you just got to kind of trust the process and then make sure you're always improving, taking feedback from your videos, um, and then it'll come. And if it doesn't come after like, you know, two, three years, then then it might be like, hey, this is just not for me kind of thing. But give it a solid effort. It's a very, like, I think YouTube is a very complicated thing because there's like a balance of you just need to grind it out and there's a balance of like, oh no, this is actually just not going to work kind of thing. It's like a balance. I think most things in life too, like, at the end of the day, you can't judge something that you do and, and the success of it based off your first or third, you know, time doing it or... You know, you do it for a couple months. You can't really judge it based off that. But then also, at some point you need to be like, oh, well, this might not, this is, might not just, it just might not be for me. If that makes sense. So that's like, I think that's very tricky. And honestly, I don't even know, like, the balance of it. But I think as long as you're having fun, I think the number one rule is as long as you're having fun, whether it's successful or not, that's the most important tell. So at the end of the day, if you're having fun, it will work. Also, I do actually believe that anyone can have a YouTube channel. They just need to learn the skills and stuff. It's like anything in life. I don't think YouTube is like, 
the NBA or anything where like you actually need special genes to be good at it. I think it's something that's trainable. And I think honestly, anyone watching this video could have a successful YouTube channel right now. You just need to train, practice it and find your niche. Like even if you're a shy person who doesn't like being on camera, there are plenty of shy YouTubers out there who like, like me included, like I don't really like, well, I've gotten a lot better at it, but like I used to like not like talking to people in person. But you know, you get used to it. You wouldn't want to be famous. Yeah, it's, uh, I like it, but it's also a bit weird. When people come up to me, they're like, oh, I did Pokedaxia. I'm like, like, I love you, I appreciate you, but also, like, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> I am not this godly figure. No shiny shadows yet. We're uh, working on, we want to battle our, G, our Groudon, and then, we'll, and then we'll narrow the focus to shadow shinies. What street is this right now we're on? I'm learning the streets in Ottawa. This is bank, yes. Ooh, sh tiny shadow. Imagine that was a shiny shadow. A tiny shadow shadow. Chateau Laurier. That's actually not Chateau Laurier. We're on bank right now. God damn it, what's going on? Let's all relax, guys. It's a nice day, good weather. Okay, I need to make sure I buy some radars. Flying type grunt, flying. So many grunt options. Ground, is ground cooking right now? Fighting, ooh, fighting can get me the shiny shadow Machop. It's funny, shiny shadow Machop is in Cliff and also in the fighting grunt right now. Hoping to get the shiny shadow trap inch, same crackers. That's my number one hunt right now, I think. It's a bit awkward when a person brings her cat to you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Exactly, Dominic. At the end of the day, like, I'm literally just a regular dude. It's funny. I had the most mundane life before YouTube. And honestly, my life is still very mundane. It's just like, I work a job and I make videos. But I'm a very normal person, so... It's, it's a weird transition. So yeah, if you ever see me, always come say hi. Just love chatting up with the fans and, and yeah, don't be don't be nervous or anything because again, I'm I'm I probably have the same issues in my life as you. It was awesome <clears throat> way that you just handled that. All right, let's all sell down. It's a nice die. The dude's honking, being a prick. Yeah. At the end of the day, like I kind of understand road rage and I've had road rage, but also like. I feel like people get trapped up in their life all the time, and they're like, oh, this is the worst thing ever, but, like, really, like, the fact that we're just alive. I'm not trying to get philosophical. <laughs> philosophical. Is that a word? <laughs> but it's kind of insane, the fact that we're alive, so let's not get too cheesed. Ooh, I got, I got the 12Ks. Should I buy some incubators, chat? Hatchbox. This is not a bad box. I kind of want to buy this, but I don't have that many coins. And this is going to use like all my coins, so let's just buy this for now. I will not be in Madrid for GoFest now. At least at the moment. I might, I might try to swing it, but I really want to go to Japan. And if I go to Japan, like, you don't go to Japan for like two weeks. Well, you maybe do, but like, if I'm going to fly out to Japan, I might as well stay for like two, three weeks-ish, so. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just stay for two weeks. Zarwa. It is a nice day though, I will see that much. Okay, we gotta defeat Cliff. That's what we're looking for, chat. Japan is always fun. I've never been, so it'll be my first time. book for Madrid let's get it Cisa yeah I think if you go you got to do all three days right I think the only way I would I would not do all three days of a go fest is if it was like I don't even know if I I would but like I could see like a casual player if it's like in their area like you know they live in they live in LA or something and they play Pokemon Go you know every once in a while just bring my grass but one here then I could see them being like, okay well I'll play for one day but like I feel like if you're gonna fly somewhere like 
you gotta you gotta play all three days, right? Did your undergrad in Tokyo? Wait, did I read this grunt wrong? I thought this was a, a grass grunt or a water grunt. Just create an eight kilometer route for fun. Hope it stays and doesn't get, it probably won't get removed. That's kind of crazy though. Eight kilometer route is actually insane. I find it weird to speak to a camera when nobody's listening. Nowadays, not really. I think at the start it was definitely weird. My friend is starting to do some YouTube stuff and he says it's really weird. He says he finds it really weird to just like sit there and talk to a camera. But you know, you just gotta do it. Vincent, what's up? You're, working, you're moving to Japan for work there soon. Should I try to get to Sendai? Oh, 100%, dude. If you're gonna be in Japan, man, and there's a Go Fest in Japan, I feel like that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like, Pokemon in Japan, I, I can't speak on it, but from what I've heard, is like absolutely insane. Literally the best place to play Pokemon, because that's where it was born, right? The birthplace. The birthplace of the game. Serious question, how does one get on your friends list? Um, I don't sell my friends list slots. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that. I do uh, friend code giveaways sometimes, but I don't really have any friend slots right now, so currently right now there's no really way to get on my friends list. Ooh, this is a really good shout out Torchic. Um, but maybe I'll I'll try to do something soonish. I don't know. I don't I don't like to sell my friend code spot. I feel like that's kind of weird. I understand like why some people do it. Look how many rockets there that way. Okay, I'm gonna go two blocks, rotate back. So we'll hit that and then we'll come back. I feel like you're reading a script. I honestly just cut the script. You just gotta sit, you just gotta talk naturally. That's what I would say. Japan is the mecca of Mons. Yeah, I could see it being the mecca of Mons. I like I like that description actually of it. Come on, Mecca, dude. No Recisa. Am I allowed to say my friend code in chat? No, we don't, don't Don't drop your friend code in chat. If you want to drop your friend code, join the Pokedaxi Discord. You can type exclamation point Discord, um, and there's friend channels in there. Good morning, Dead. Hope all is well. Today is nothing but greatness for me. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. I don't even remember. What am I doing today? Oh yeah, I'm going, uh, I'm going to Montreal. That's where I'm going. This is the worst Shadow Shiny. Wow, the hatred on the cac, the cacnea is crazy. The cacnea hatred. How long have I lived in Ottawa? All my life. Since I was a wee little child. Purified Wob is better because you get a second charge attack. Yes, Purified Wob is better because you can have a uh, return on it, which is, which is definitely worth, definitely worth having. Need to cross the street, chat. Not die. Just gonna switch here. Oh, it was the raid Discord. Okay, my Discord, if you want to join it and drop your code, um, it's called uh, Pokedaxi. Discord GG backslash Pokedaxi, that's my Discord. Sorry, I, I don't know. I don't even know why the Twitch bots are off. And I have not checked them yet. Maybe Jennifer or someone, if you want to send me like a DM on something to check them and fix them after the stream. No, no shiny shadow. Why is Return only good on certain Pokemon? Because some Pokemon, like Return is a good move, but it's not a broken move. But there's some Pokemon with just such bad move sets that like Return is the only way they get good. It's just like a really hard hitting charge move and some Pokemon don't have hard hitting charge moves. Um, actually, I think I'm one street. I need to go one street over to get this grunt. Um, yeah, that's kind of like the description of why. Why it is what it is. 
because I even like, yeah, like Sableye with Return, for example. Like, Sableye's secondary charge move options are not that great. It has Foul Play, it has Power Gem, which doesn't really do it too much. I guess it gives it, like, flying coverage. But Sableye really benefits, especially with its, like, higher attack stat of just having that nuke move that you can threaten things with. Like, having Return on Sableye actually allows you to beat Azumarill in certain shield scenarios if you, like, bait and stuff. Like, in the two shield, if you land two baits, you actually beat Azumarill, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, on um, on Wobbuffet is good as well, because Wobbuffet can only learn Mirror Coat, I believe. So having a secondary move is... Wobbuffet appreciates. Should probably bring my buddy on the map, eh? Is Tapu Lele worth raiding? Not really. I would say Tapu Gulu's not bad, though. Oh, the sidewalk's closer. Oh, look, my finger. <laughs> Tabu Bulu is going to be interesting in Mashley because it's going to be able to, like, counter certain things and, and beat certain things. I don't know. Um, like, it's... Because it's a fairy grass, so it can kind of, like, beat, you know, um, Landorus, but also beat, like, Palkia, stuff like that. Especially with Palkia being such a... a a prominent boy right now. Okay, we got another Sierra. Which is cool. How did they fit that in there? You got a Shiny Shadow. Nice, Will. Which one? Oh, and you got the Raikou. Shiny Shadow Raikou 96 is great. Look at this building. Someone's moving in. This is a cool building. This is called the... Oh, it's another Soho building. Why is there so many of these Soho buildings in Ottawa? I looked at one of these, actually. Yeah, Tapu Bulu breaks the Landers Palkia core, exactly. So yeah, Tapu Bulu will be great to grab. Wall Zygarde, true. Oh, Golf, you're here. What's up, Golf? Yeah, Tapu Bulu's gonna be good. Tapu Lele is decent fairy-type ray attacker, but, like, honestly, Gardevoir might be a bit better, and fairy's not the best for raids, like... Like, honestly, even versus dragons, you're kind of better off just using a dragon because they just have such higher damage per second. Like, the dragons in Pokemon Go just have, like, way higher attack, so... Yes, I would say. What are the best raids? Uh, check out my video. Um, Team Go Rocket take over tips and tricks. I talk about all the best raids in there. Shanda. Got two Lucky Trades with my wife in a week, but original two forms of Palkia, both... We're 14, 15, 15. Soak, but same IVs back to back. Super close to the hundo as well, dude. That's kind of unfortunate. It's cool, but it's also kind of unfortunate. Okay. Where are we off to next? We need to still find a cliff. So we're gonna go back, hit that, and then we'll rotate back and do like, there's like four liters back there. It's kind of crazy. What's up, what's up? No Shadow Hundos, no Shadow Shinies yet, chat. We've done a decent amount, though. Trash. Ooh, Vullaby. Always love the old Vullaby. Vullaby in the wild is really great, because you can get, like, a PvP IV Mandibuzz, which... I, I swear to God, I think this is the first time we've ever seen Vullaby in the wild, so... Maybe I'm capping, though. It's every two hours, too, for the balloons. I thought it was three... Because normally it's been three, but it seems like they switch every two hours, so... Yeah, you can get a, uh... You can get something every two hours. For Master League, do they all need to be best buddied? Uh, no, no, no. You only need... You can only have one Pokemon best buddied at a time. So, yeah, Master League, you don't really need all three best buddied. We about Tim Hortons' life in this part of Canada? Dude, every... Tim Hortons is huge everywhere in Canada. I will say, I feel like, like, in the more rural towns, it's a little bit bigger. But people vibe with Tim Hortons. In the cities, it kind of transitions to Starbucks a bit. Like, it's more Starbucks-y because everybody has a bit more money. But Timmy's, man, people get down with Timmy's. Granted, I think I am more of a McDonald's person just because, if you don't know the history, Tim Hortons used to have, like, the best coffee. But then McDonald's bought 
that recipe or something off of them, and then Tim Hortons had to change the recipe, and now Tim Hortons actually has really bad coffee. Um, or at least that's what I hear. I don't really drink coffee that much, so I can only talk so much. But yeah, that's kind of like the vibe. Bro, trim that beard. What beard, bro? Talking about this? This is called a mustache. I got no beard right now. I got stubble. I kind of like a little stubble, though. Hope you'd actually turn into a man, bro. You can finally grow facial hair. <laughs> You're waiting for Shadow Ray. Shadow Ray will be sick. And it's going to be soon, man. It'll probably be in the summer. Dude, this summer actually might pop off for Pokemon Go. Because, yeah, Shadow Ray is going to be coming out, like, mid-summer. We're going to be having Necrozma coming, pro probably. Um, Solgaleo Lunala in raids. Like, it's actually going to kind of pop off. That's the thing about Pokemon Go is you always got to remember there's going to be bad times where the game just sucks, and it's just kind of natural to the evolution of anything, and you just kind of got to accept it. But I'm excited for the summer, and what's it to bring? There I go. God. Don't get a move off. Thank God. Giovanni has a uh, grout on. The mustache shoots me well. I, I think it does as well. People were hating on it, but a lot of people who said the mustache doesn't suit me well are, are starting to transition to the mustache suits me well. Hey, <laughs> let's go. We got the shiny shadow of the one I wanted as well. The trappage, dude. Yo, this thing looks sick. Yo, this thing actually looks sick. Oh my God, this thing is so cool, dude. <laughs> Yo, already, bro. These shiny shadows are too easy for me, baby. <laughs> Let's go chat. Let's go. Huge dub. Can we get a good IV? Bro, yo, this is PvP. Yo, what rank is that? Someone check. It's a 1915. Dude, I'm about to be running through these leagues with a PvP shiny shadow flag on. And the one I wanted too. Let's go. It does look sick. That is actually super cool, man. Yo, that's a sick IV too. Do we evolve it now? I don't think we'll ever need earth power on it, right? I Oh, I almost purified it. I don't think we'll ever need earth power. Because Scorching Sands is just better. So, I don't think it really matters. I kind of want to see the evolution. I kind of want to see the shiny shadow flag on, so let's evolve it. Two eighteen and Ultra. Oh, that's actually not that good. I thought this was going to be a lot better. Still, evolve it. Sick grab. I agree. Come on. Number 66 XL and Ultra. That's actually not bad. Wait, so who said? Someone said. Yo, that actually looks crazy. Dude, look at this thing. Wow, the shadow so helps this Pokemon. The shadow makes this so much better. Dude, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, chat. Damn, if I were powered up for Ultra, how expensive would it be? Oh god, 350 thou. I'm not gonna power it up right now. Damn, dude. Let's, uh, before we forget, let's remove frustration. That thing is beautiful, dude. I love that. Okay. Let's, uh, honestly, let's make it our buddy. Just because why not? Just while we're grinding. Just so we can continue to stare at it while we try to find the Cacne. Damn, okay, my game froze. That's the second time. 352k isn't that expensive? Bro, that's a third of a mil, what do you mean? That's pretty expensive. Normally I'm spending like 200k. Did I miss a dono? My bad, one sec, let me read it. Damn, that's super nice. Joshi, thank you for the $5 dono. Appreciate the love and support on the stream. Hopefully you're doing well today. As always, showing the support. Sorry I missed that. I was uh, We had kind of a hype moment. But appreciate the love and support. Let's go, chat. Okay, there it is. Shadow Flygon. Shiny Shadow Flygon. 
Okay, where are we going now? We need uh, more. I need more radar so I can defeat a uh, cliff. Yeah, we just got the shiny shadow flag on. <laughs> this year had so many stars events. Stars have become easy to get. It is, but once you start spending, it goes, man. Even if you had, I could spend a million stardust like that. I have, I probably have, a, like, a hundred million stardust would probably allow me to power up everything I want. So at one million, nothing, gone. Also, just because we've had events doesn't mean we're going to get more events, right? Oh, I, I walked by. I need to reach back for this and then we'll go. You're the best, thank you. The stats are not great. It's a 1915. It's a PvP uh, Shadow Flygon. PvP IV. There we go, we found a cliff. Sick, okay. The best for Cliff, I think, is uh, a rock, a fairy, and a fighting or something. Is what you need. Uh, my counter guide for Cliff is coming out in literally 11 minutes in the shorts tab of the channel, so. I am not married. I'm 23. <laughs> Isn't it about time they added Stardust acquisition to transferred Pokemon? That would actually be nice, eh? Theoretically, though, you technically already have that, because when you catch a Pokemon, you get Stardust, so. Hatch a Charcadet, let's go. Hope Cerulege gets buffed. Isn't there, like, a move that Cerulege could get that would really help it? Or I guess it's, like, the, um, it's, it's signature move, right? Bitter Blade or something, is that what it's called? Or, or, or something Blade? Yo, Zionic, yeah, exactly, bro, am I right? Everybody is saying that the stash was not a play, but it's starting to like, I don't know if the lighting's really good right now, but it's starting to look good, bro. It's starting to come in. You just gotta let it get past that like awkward stage, you know? Now I'm stash daddy, bro. I'd leave you two, then Gardevoir Lucar for Cliff. Yeah, that's probably a good team. Honestly, it's definitely not what I did though. Cliff pasted your mustache on his chin. Okay, we're just gonna come in here and do this. Can you Elite TM Spatial Ren? No, not yet. And I don't know when we will be able to. I still have a Hundo Dialga that I wanna get Roar of Time on. And if it never gets Roar of Time, I will be really sad. I will be really sad, because I spent a lot of money to try to get that Hundo Dialga. Looking like a cop. Give me all your shiny shadows. Oh, that's a robber. Unsubbing from this because of the stash is crazy, bro. Crazy accusation. But honestly, go ahead. I like my stash. I'm gonna be proud of it. Oh look, a wild shiny shadow fly gone. <laughs> looks so sick, dude. This thing actually looks so sick. Okay, chat. We need to battle Giovanni now. So we'll claim all this. This will get us the black rocket radar. Now we need to find Giovanni and battle him. Okay, it's already equipped. Where you at, Gio? Okay, potentially two this way. It's like one block, okay. Don't, do I need another Shiny Shadow Trap Inch? Not really. I want the Cacne now. That's what we want. Love the vids, thank you. You just got the trap inch, shiny shadow trap inch, nice bro. Congrats, congrats. No, Giovanni shiny, sh dude, imagine Giovanni Pokemon could be shiny shadows, that'd be crazy. No, the only way to get shiny shadow legendaries are from raids and that's probably like what it's gonna be forever. I don't know if Giovanni, unless Giovanni you know what, actually, like, if we get, like, a rerun of Giovanni with, like, Shadow Mewtwo or something, I could see them giving, like, shiny shadow potential from Giovanni. But right now, since Giovanni is, like, releasing new sh shadow legendaries, um, you can't get the new the, the ones. Pokemon to catch, meta relevant. Uh, Kevin, check out my tips video. I have a full video breaking all that down. 
Um, it's called the Team Go Rocket Takeover Event Tips video. It's my most recent video. Did really well as well, which is cool. Oh, bro's making a lot of noise. Um, the reason you might not have the quest for the uh, the new uh, the new legendary is because you have one of the old quests you have to finish first. Um, you can search online. There's like a website where it breaks down all the Giovanni researches, but you can't have more than one at a time. Krispy Kreme's coming to MCD? What does that mean? Okay. I need a battle Giovanni now. Hope this guy stops. It's so loud in auto, that's the problem. True, Dan. Everything's meta relevant because you get Stardust. Catch them all. Oh, McDonald's. Ah. Got it. I love how I used to work at McDonald's and I don't know that. Bro, first try, we find Giovanni. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go to this park and we'll battle him there. Or at least, I don't know, I'll set my party here. Giovanni time, okay, chat? We're going to battle Giovanni and we're going to catch one Shadow Groudon. Come on, bro. We're going to catch one Shadow Groudon. Um, I don't, should I battle? I don't know how I want to catch two. I think we're just going to battle one and catch one. But what you want here is you want um, ice types. So bring obviously a Mamoswine. And then you want a fighting type. Preferably a Lucario. But my Lucario doesn't have power punch right now. So I'm actually going to go with my, do any of these have, okay they all have dynamic punch. This might be a little tricky. But should be fine. Um, yeah, so this is what we want. The net, the Let's Play videos are coming back probably in April. Um, when the, the weather is getting nicer now, so I can start doing them again. So, yeah. I'll probably bring back Let's Play episode 6 very soon. I don't know if I'm going to call them Let's Play still. I'll probably start calling them different stuff, but... The best moveset on Lucario for battling Giovanni is... Counter, Power Up Punch, and Shadow Ball. Um, but mine, for some reason, has Aura Sphere right now. Probably because I was using it for raids, so... And I don't really want to change it, so we're just going to kind of go for it. But yeah, double Ice types. Oh yeah, uh, true, Terrakion with Sacred Sword is good as well. But double Ice types and a Fighting is mint for being Giovanni. Because, like, his whole backline is weak to Ice. Like, every... Other than the Persian, everything else is weak to Ice. So if you just bring two Ice types, you're, you're guaranteed to do super effective damage. Okay, here we go. Time to battle Giovanni. Let me sit down. So he always leads Persian. This is what I do. I like to lead with um, something and then switch right away into my fighting type um, so that you see he stalls for a little bit. Now, since I don't have um, power up punch, it's going to take me a little bit to charge here. He has Kingdra now instead. He shouldn't have Kingdra. Did I mess up my... He should have... I think it's Nido Queen, Rhyperior, or yeah. I think everything he has is weak to ice in the back. Does he actually have Kingdra? Well, then my counter guide is wrong. I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, so look, we grab both shield. Machamp did what it needs to do. We grab both shields. Now we come in with Mamo Swine, and we just kind of clean up. Kingdra instead of Nido Queen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need to fix that then before I post my counter guide. Because I thought it was Nido King, Rhyperior, and some other thing weak to ice. And then in the back is Groudon, but this is going to be no problem because you have Mamoswine. I will say, he is still pretty tanky, so I'm going to charge up here and then we're going to swap. Um, save a little bit of energy there, just in case, because he might get to a move here, but he probably won't. Groudon has, like, really long charging moves, so it's not too bad. Have you raided small streamers? I don't even know how to raid on Twitch. I don't even know how to do a raid. Especially from here, I don't know how to do that. Maria, how does it feel becoming a YouTuber? It's weird. Life is weird. Okay, well, here we go. That was it. That was pretty easy, to be honest. Treating like this is a regional finals. Bro, I'm trying to show people how to beat Giovanni, okay? Here we go. 
Can we get a good IV? Can we get, imagine a hundo shadow, dude. I did get one hundo shadow from Giovanni. It was my first ever time be Giovanni, which was a uh, shadow Entei. And we got the hundo. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Come on. I don't think that's good, but we'll see. It should be guaranteed catch, right? I hear a lot of people say that like it's not, but I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. As long as you hit them, it's good. Is this good though? Shots. It's all right, right? 10, 11, 11? It's all right. Would I power it up though? I don't know. <laughs> 927 is the hundo. Could be worse. Could be worse indeed, Brandon. Yeah, it's all right, like I'll take it. We take that, right, Chad? We take those? I think we take those. I Do I gotta get another one now? Okay, hold up, let's think about this for a second. I have three radars. I have three radars, and I'm gonna get another one when we battle Rayquaza, and I wanna get three Rayquazas. Do I wanna get four Rayquazas, or do I wanna get three Rayquazas? I feel like four is gonna make a better video and a better title. Well, if you don't take those, you transfer, exactly, Kevin. I'm gonna transfer it. That's the question. I, pretty much, the debate I'm having is I want to make a video where I... Yeah, hold up, let me, let me start moving so we can do some more stuff. I want to make a video where I battle, or I catch a bunch of Shadow Ray Quazes. But do I want to make it four, or do I make it three? I know everybody in chat here wants to see me do another Groudon. Three rays get another Growl. But four would be so cool. Silly question, how to say my radars? Um, Quack, the best way for me to explain it is for you to search up how to stack radars on YouTube in the search bar. My video will come up, watch that video, it'll describe it. I can't really, it's a very complicated subject um, to kind of understand and I can't really explain it now, so watch that video, will be the best explanation on how to save those radars. That's what I think, Summer. If I get another Groudon chat, it's probably going to be worse IVs, right? It probably will be. It'll probably be trash. Okay, well, let's, let's see if we even find another Giovanni today. I'll equip a radar. If we find a Giovanni, then we'll consider it. Edge says, I, I would get four rays. I feel like four rays is going to be kind of lit. Having four Rayquazas is kind of lit. Everybody loves Rayquaza as well, right? So it'll do a good video. I don't know, chat. I don't know. The debate. Get another Groudon. Get, get an extra Ray. Do another one that's weather boosted. Well, weather boost wouldn't really change much. It's only going to mean I have to spend a little bit less Stardust. Could use one for Great League. Oh, Pokemama is coming to meet me. Where are you? Tell me on stream. Oh, she's coming to meet me. I'm, I'm kind of at City Hall, but like, are you close? Four rays. You get, I chat a lot of love for four rays right now. I wish I could do a poll. Not gonna be viable for Master League too. Too squishy. Yeah, but Rayquaza is so cool. A Hundo Shadow Ray would be so sick. Also, I can, even if they're not viable, I can still use them for raids. They're gonna be like some of the best raid attacking mons alongside Mewtwo. The IV floor on Shadow Groudon is 666. You didn't hear about Ray yet? So Ray's not confirmed coming. Um, it's just the fact that, uh, it's just the fact that we have since we have Groudon, and we just had Kyogre, like, you know, you put two and two together, 
and the next is gonna be Ray. W stream, thank you. Buddy AR is not supported on some devices after update. Does Niantic fix this? I have no idea, bro. You gotta message Niantic support. I don't work for Niantic. There should be a button in the stream manager that says raid, but you gotta scroll down to find the raid button. Okay, I could try doing that. The problem is I'm, I'm not at home, right? So how this stream setup works is I stream, I send feeds home and then I send it out from home. So I have very limited control over my home PC. So like I can really just only start and end a stream, but I can see if I could do those. If they troll us and not give us Ray, that would be kind of awkward. But at some point we're gonna get Shadow Ray. The Moustache Bro, W, let's get it. Think about how hard you will hit Shadow Ray Quezzo when it's in raids. Shiny Shadow Ray is where it's at. True, but Shadow Ray Bro is gonna be so far off, right? Ah, maybe it's not that far off. Shadow Ray is like in like th two years, right? It's gonna be in two years. I don't know, technically they've actually done a lot of the Shadow Legendaries, like... We're, we're, we haven't done the Regis, right? The Shadow Regis need to come, Shadow Latios and Latias need to come to Shadow Raids first, and then Shadow Groudon, and then Shadow Kyogre. So we're still like, we're still like eight Pokemon off. What Pokemon am I looking forward to debut as a Mega? Lucario for sure. Could be two months. Oh no 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 no! Shadow Ray is not Shadow Shiny Ray is not coming out in two months. You're targeting Sierra, so you evolve right, the Brava. I'm not even targeting Sierra right now. We're just shiny shadow hunting, and Sierra seems to be the only thing that's like alive in town right now. It's literally Sierra's taken over Ottawa today. Save the radar, save the radars. At the end of the day, chat, if we don't even find a Giovanni today, it's not even gonna be a question. So if we end up finding a Giovanni, then I'm gonna have the biggest brain thought of my life and decide if I wanna do it then and there. I could also, also wait and think about it over the week because we technically have, like I can always get another Shadow Groudon like in some random stream we're doing later down the line. Like it doesn't need to be today. And that's probably what I'll do, like, we're gonna have Shadow Ground for the next, what, three months? So there's no rush to really make an impulse decision. Is there a level requirement for Giovanni? I don't think so. I don't think so. Tim the Groudon, true, good point. I'm gonna do that right after this. Hopefully they make Regigigas good. I don't know, man. Don't cross your fingers. I hope this rotation isn't three months. It probably will be. So January was the last rotation, January, February, March. So is that three months? Yeah, January, February, oh no, it's two months. Okay, wait, so rotations are every two months maybe? Um, okay, need to buy more radars. Shadow Kyogre and Groudon will be in Shadow Rays without a doubt, yeah. Dude, every Shadow Legendary is gonna be in Shadow Rays without a doubt, but the question is when? Like, they just came out in Giovanni. It's going to be a long, long time before we see those things in, in Shadow Raids. Imagine you could primal the shadows. Okay, where do I want to go now? Oh, there's actually, like, some grunts here. Let's go reach that one, and then we'll go hit that one, and then we'll come back, maybe? Or do I want to go do these three? I wonder if I can reach that one across the river from where I am. That'd be interesting to know. Okay, and the rocket world research should be done. Don't have the quest for him. I started playing three months ago and not for a game because I'm confused. Um, if you don't, there's like a certain research you have to complete before you can get any Giovanni research. I think it's called like Looming in the Shadows or something along the shadows or darkness. Like, it's like an introduction to Team Rocket and once you complete that, then you can start getting the other researches. I'm excited for Mega Heracross. Yes, actually, Mega Heracross is great because it's such a rare shiny, such a great shiny, 
and it's a regional, so it's really hard to get XLs and candies for it. So I'm actually pretty excited for Mega Heracross, especially the raid day, because the odds are going to be so good. Like, you're going to be able to get so many shinies. Arlo. Is there any Shadow Legendaries that can be soloed? I don't think so. I don't think there's a single Shadow Legendary. Until like something like maybe Kartana gets a Shadow. What's the IV floor on Shadow Mewtwo? Uh, it's going to be 666. All Shadow Legendaries are 666 IV floor. Am I streaming Tapu Raid Hour? No. Tapu Lele Raid Hour, I will not be streaming. Next week? Is, it, is the week almost over? No, the week just started. I'm not sure what I'm streaming next week. I think the spotlight hour is not even that good. Yeah, my streams next week might be PvP focused, to be honest, based on what's going on. Yeah, you'd be lucky to solo a three-star shadow raid. Dude, I remember I did a shadow Gligar raid with full team of, like, level 50 Mammoth Swines, and I almost failed it. Hey, Ghost with a super chat. Dropping two. What were the IVs of the Groudon? It was a 10, 11, 11. Those were the IVs, Ghost. Which, uh, like, again, we said, we'll take it. That's kind of my statement on it. We'll take it. I don't know where Pokemama is, but... Well, if you're watching this stream, I'm kind of, like, going to this school here, Lizger. Um, But I'm going to stay around City Hall, so... 